Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we are working on Module 3, Lesson 15, where we are working with division problems that have remainders using the array and area models. So we'll see a couple of different versions of uh, different techniques that we'll be using as we go through the homework today. I'm going to go through two homework problems today. Let's take a look at the first one. Let's take a look at number one right off the bat. We are going to divide 24 by 4. And we are going to show that with an array, and we are going to show that using an area model. So let's first show it, let's see, we'll pick red. Let's first show that using an array. So let's see, 24 dots divided by 4s. So let's see how many, uh, let's see how many rows or how many columns of 4 dots that's going to need. So that's 4, then there's 8, there's 12, there's 16, there's 20, and there's 24. Looks like we came out pretty evenly this way. Let's see, how many of those do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Get a little tight with my fat marker there, huh? And do we have any remainder? No, it doesn't look like we do. So it looks to me like when we divide 24 by 4, we ended up with a quotient of 6. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and no remainder. Okay, now let's switch to blue and see if we get the same thing when we look at an area model. So again, we're dividing by 4 here, so I want to make sure we've got 4 blocks in play, right? And then the question is, how many columns of blocks, right? How many of these columns do we need to get up to 24? So again, we could skip count here. So let's see. That would be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. All right, let's see. Color that in. And I think that covers it again, right? Because we have exactly six columns of four blocks, and six times four is 24. So I don't think we need to do anything where we little have a little uh, remainder, a little extra things going off the side here. I think that that really is a straight up four by six rectangle with no quotient, or with no remainder. So the question here that they've asked is, can you show 24 divided by 4 with one rectangle? And I think my answer is yes, I can. Um, it looks to me like the quotient is 6, and the remainder is 0. No extra little blocks needed along the right-hand side. All good. Good luck with number 2. Okay, let's switch to another one. In this one, we're going to solve using an array and an area model. Okay, so they're doing it with this time without graph paper. The first one's done for you. So if we look at our example, let's just look at our example first. When they have 25 divided by 3, they come up with columns of three dots, and they figure out how many columns they need to get up to t close to 25, right? And they get to 24 here, and then they have one more. And so that gives them a quotient of 8 and a remainder of 3. They do the same thing here. This is really with blocks, except without graph paper, right? It's 3 units high and 8 units wide, and that uh, 3 times 8 would be 24, but that's 25. So the 25th one is this little extra one off to the side, the remainder. So let's see if we can do that. I'll do it in red again here. Let's do it, see if we can do that for 44 divided by 7. 44 divided by 7. So this is a lot, of dot, a lot more dots because we have to do columns of 7, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and now we only have two left over, so I think I'm going to just do two dots here at the end. And that gives us our answer. It looks to me like when we divide by 7... We have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 columns, so our quotient is 6. I'm going to just do Q is 6, and our remainder is just these two little dots here at the bottom, right? So that's a remainder of 2. Let's see if that works the same way. I'll switch to blue and see if that works the same way when we do an area model. It should, but let's make sure. So this time we're going to divide by 7, and the question is how far out do we have to go? So we could skip count by sevens, right, uh, for, to get our columns, and we would end up with six columns of seven dots, or blo seven blocks in this case. That would be 42. And then we would need 
a couple little ones here at the side, right? We need two more ones at the side. That would be our remainder. That would give us 7 times 6 is 42, 43, 44. So the very same thing, right? A quotient of 6 and a remainder of 2. There we go. Well, that's been this episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I hope you have a good time working on the rest of the problems this evening, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.